These are kits from Lionel in O scale, and the parts came molded in various colors so that painting isn't strictly necessary. I bought mine at train shows, and they were already assembled. They're pretty nicely designed, they look good, and they were cheap. So what's not to like? Well, I guess they do look a little plain. Painting and weathering, though, is an option, but it's also pretty permanent. But I think I can add some visual interest to the exteriors with some signage and a variety of posters. These are a mixture of vintage travel and automotive posters that I found online. The vertical ones are all about one inch wide, so that makes these about four foot by six foot in O scale. That's a pretty big poster in real life, but they'd be too hard to read if I made them any smaller. I printed mine onto photographic paper before spraying them with a clear matte finish from Rust-Oleum. You may have noticed a slightly European theme to the artwork I've chosen. That's because I plan to use these buildings as a backdrop for photographing some upcoming Mercedes and World War II diecast reviews. I'll just attach these mini posters using a few drops of Elmer's glue. If I ever choose to change them out, they'll be easy to remove, and any remaining adhesive on the plastic buildings can be washed away with warm water. This is a pretty easy and quick way to spice up these plain Jane buildings. It's a cheap project, and if you don't like the posters or you get tired of them, then it's also pretty easy to undo and start over. You'll be seeing more of these cars and these buildings in the future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.